you think that Prince Harry's worked it out yet that possibly, just possibly, he could be through? You know what I'm saying? As ever, let me explain. Hi, good morning. Neil Sean here. Nice to see you on a beautiful day today. Hope it's like that wherever you are in the world. And yes, let's have a wave today. Absolutely. And uh, lots of pigeons coming around, around me now. So yes, I'm a bit worried, actually. You know, <laughs> you know they say it's good luck, not on this suit. Costs a fortune at the dry cleaners now, doesn't it? Let's not go there. Too expensive. I don't know why they're flying around. I feel like Tippi Hendren in The Birds. Do you remember when she was pecked to death? Alfred Hitchcock moving on. Anyway, back as ever to your breaking roll story of the day. The big story really this week, and uh, it was confused a lot of people, in fact, that if you think about it, Meghan Markle has finally got her dream. You know, the ultimate thing that she really was after was worldwide fame, and there's no two ways about it. As that press release pointed out, she's an incredibly famous person around the world. Not quite sure famous for what, you know. I mean, some people say she was an actress. It's a little bit debatable. A bit of success in some mediocre shows and films doesn't really result in a massive resume, does it really? But then, of course, she married into the family and gave a title, and suddenly the world's a oyster. Agents are interested, and it's a fascinating world show business, and I can speak from personal experience. When you're up, they want you. They will do anything to secure you. You are their bread and butter. Agents love you. The minute you're down, well, they don't want to know. Now, as we know, Megan was desperate to find a really big agent when she was an actress struggling. And of course, the doors were all slammed in her face. It didn't matter what she did, who she met and who she colluded with. Couldn't get arrested, as they say, in the world of showbiz. But now, of course, she has that royal title. Everything's changed. Everything has moved on. But the biggest problem that she has now is, and as ever, we have to say allegedly, it looks like William Morris were truly only interested in her now that might be hard to believe but you see when you think about prince harry he does have a one-dimensional act and that is the british monarchy the bottom line is he talks about it and has talked about it at length and done the books and the documentary series but megan now wants to draw a line under all that negativity they see an opportunity of influencers branding you know endorsements literally millions and millions of pounds basically as the duchess of sussex Nothing bigger than perhaps her, you know, launching her own perfume brand. Maybe aligning herself to a huge brand that will pay her millions, as long as they can title her Meghan, Duchess of Sussex. You see, with Prince Harry, really, what could he do? There were rumours, of course, that he may be interested in some hair restorer. And I'm not pulling your leg here. This is exactly what I've been told. But of course, it would seem rather vain and sort of silly, wouldn't it, for a man of his age to suddenly want to take that on particularly on the world stage. So they politely suggested that they would run with Meghan first and test the water. But of course, the option was always there to sign Prince Harry at some point, should he wish. But he hasn't truly worked out though, really. Meghan is now flying away on her own. She's got exactly what she requires, which is worldwide fame. The world's most famous agency suddenly now tapping on her door, wanting a slice of her action, and more importantly, Meghan is reinventing herself. Seemingly, though, Prince Harry doesn't have that much to do. According to a very good source, the Invictus Netflix documentary has yet to still see the finalised light of day. That was his big thing. What Meghan hopes to turn herself into, and I kid you not, is something a little bit like a Judith Krantz, Barbara Taylor Bradford, producer of all those Lifetime TV movies, perhaps a huge rating cinematic rom-com. She sees herself as an executive in the mould of perhaps a Harry Cohen, Louis B. Mayer, and of course all the rest, the Daryl F. Sanix, only this time in female form. Let's hope though, for Harry's sake, there's still going to be some room in that, uh, shall we say, busy schedule for him. Because right now, it looks like he could be surplus to requirements. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.